we're continuing with the series talking about fast food. This program is funded by the USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, through the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services. Now we're going to be doing a survey. Raise your hand or stand up if you eat fast food. Now keep your hands raised or keep standing. Think about how often you eat fast food. Keep your hand raised or continue standing if you agree with the following. You eat fast food for a meal or snack one time per week or less. You eat fast food for a meal or snack three to five times per week. You eat fast food for a meal or snack once a day. You eat fast food for a meal or snack more than one time per day. Think about your favorite type of fast food. Do you think fast food is healthy? Today we'll be talking about the nutrients in fast food and you will be looking at some of your favorite foods and deciding if they are healthy or not, and if not, learning how to make healthier choices. When you hear the words fast food, what words might you use to describe it? Fast food is a food that is quick, easy, can eat it in or take it out, sold in restaurants, convenience stores, snack stands, or food trucks. It could potentially be cheap or perhaps it's just considered cheap. You may also describe it as tasty. Now that you've thought about ways you might describe fast food, what are some reasons that you might choose it? Time might be one of the reasons that comes to mind. It's fast. People are busy and eating fast food can be done quickly with no preparation time or cleanup. Maybe it's due to its convenience. It might be easier than preparing your own meals. It might also be located conveniently, which makes it easier to go there. Perhaps it's due to the taste or price. You might be thinking, I'm too busy to cook. This goes along with the time issue. Maybe it's a treat for you. If we really like certain fast foods, it might be a treat to go get it. For example, going to your favorite fast food restaurant or an ice cream store. Socialization could be another reason. Dining out can be something to do with friends. Maybe you simply view it as fun. Americans spend a lot of money on fast food. In 2014, Americans spent more on dining out than on groceries. This is not just fast food, but all types of restaurant dining. Americans dine out frequently. The average American dines out four to five times a week. This averages to 18.2 times a month, which is about 218 times a year. Think about how many times you might go out to a dining establishment and how that compares to these averages. Since we are dining out so much, how do we make the best choices for our health? In order to answer this question, we have to know what nutrients are in fast food. Fast food and other restaurant meals are usually high in fat, calories, sodium, and added sugars. Cooking at home gives us control over the amount of fat, sugar, calories, and sodium because we can monitor what we add and how much. There are different types of fat that have different impacts on our health. Saturated fat is a solid fat that is found in foods such as butter and animal fat in meat. If you look at a piece of raw meat such as steak, you might notice white sections within the meat, which is known as marbling or fat. Trans fats are hydrogenated oils that are found in baked goods, crackers, margarine, frozen pizza, biscuits, and other goods. Eating too much solid fat can raise blood cholesterol levels. Think about using a watering hose. If you were to bend the hose while water is running through it, what might happen? That's right, 
the water would stop flowing. When blood cholesterol levels rise, plaques can form on the artery walls, making the area where blood flows reduced. When too many plaques form over time, blood can't flow through the arteries to areas needed. This is why high cholesterol can increase the risk for heart disease and heart attacks. My plate guidelines recommend limiting our intake of saturated fat to less than 10% of daily calories. Unsaturated fats can be healthy for the heart. They are liquid fats that are usually found in plants such as olives, avocado, nuts, and seeds. Remember that even though unsaturated fat is a healthier fat, you still want to watch how much fat you include in your diet. These foods can have more calories, so try to be mindful of your portion size. Fat, carbohydrate, and protein are the nutrients that provide calories. Eating too many calories can lead to weight gain. Weight gain and high blood pressure can lead to serious diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and some cancers. Many of these health problems require medication or special diets, which are sometimes necessary for the rest of life. It's important to note that fast food is not the cause of these health issues, but rather a potential source of excess calories, fat, and sodium. Sodium is a mineral that helps with fluid balance in the body. Fast foods are often high in sodium because salt enhances the flavor of foods. Excess sodium intake may increase the risk of high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. In addition, some people are salt sensitive, meaning that the smallest amounts of salt or sodium can increase their blood pressure. Sugars are added to many foods and beverages during processing or preparation. MyPlate recommends that we limit added sugars to less than 10% of total calories. In a 2,000 calorie diet, that equals about 12 teaspoons of sugar a day. Added sugars are found in sodas and sugar-sweetened beverages, energy drinks, cookies, cakes, candy, pies, ice cream, jelly, jam, and many other foods. Excess added sugar in the diet can lead to excess calories and weight gain. My plate tells us that the amount of food we eat is one of the most important parts of building a healthy eating style. To maintain a healthy body weight, we need to eat the right amount of calories for our body. Large portions and too many extras when dining out can increase calories. Choosing smaller portions can help you stay within your calorie needs. Try to incorporate vegetables into your meals and snacks. Shift from pepperoni to vegetables as a topping for your pizza. Try sides of raw or cooked vegetables. Have a salad, but opt for low fat dressing and limit high fat and high sodium toppings such as bacon bits, cheese, croutons, etc. Have a baked potato instead of fries but limit high fat toppings. Shift from fried chicken to grilled chicken. Use low fat dressings. Limit added bacon and cheese on sandwiches and burgers. Limit mayonnaise, ketchup, and sauces. These can be high in fat and sodium. Drink water, low fat or non-fat milk, or unsweetened beverages instead of sugar sweetened drinks. Add a squeeze of fresh lemon to water or unsweetened tea for a splash of flavor. Try fresh fruit in place of high fat, high calorie desserts. Enjoy your sweets, but watch your portions. Share a dessert with a friend. Small amounts can satisfy a sweet tooth. Remember the takeaway points from this lesson. Choose fast food with less saturated fat, added sugar, and sodium more frequently. Limit portions of foods that are high in fat, calories, and sodium. Limit foods and beverages with added sugars. Try adding more vegetables as a side.